गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो आर लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ ग्रामर इज चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी वन प्रिपोजिशन ऑफ प्लेस मूवमेंट एंड टाइम नाउ वॉट इज अ प्रिपोजिशन इट्स इट कैन बी इट कैन बी डिराइव फ्रॉम द नेम इट सेल्फ प्रिपोजिशन मीन्स समथिंग विच टेल्स द पोजिशन ऑफ सम वन और समथिंग सो प्रिपोजिशन इज अ वर्ड दैट शोज द पोजिशन और द लोकेशन ऑफ सम वन और समथिंग now there are many prepositions which you have to study a uh, first preposition is on on preposition is used to show something that touches the surface okay it is touching the surface like i like i give you an example put those oranges on the plate so the orange is touching the surface of the plate so we will use on the paper is on my desk second use of on is it is used to specify days and date i was born on 14th june 1991 then third it is used to show a part of the body he kissed me on my cheek i got hurt on my knees so on is used that something touches the surface for specifying days and date and used to show a part of the body the next preposition is in in means something which is in okay so it is used to show a place like you are in a hotel fine my hometown is in karnal okay and to show month year and season she always reads newspaper in the morning fine so it is showing that she reads in the morning i got ill in the month of february republic day is celebrated on 26th january every in uh, republic day was celebrated in 2020 with great enthusiasm okay so in is used to show month year and season now the third preposition is under or below both are used to show something which is at a lower position okay like the cat is under the table next preposition is above see the difference between on and above is that on is something which touches the surface but above is much higher and is out of your reach okay for example sky is above my head so it's a very higher position next over over is also higher position but it is between on and above okay it is not touching the surface also but not at much higher position like a bird flew over my head the horse jumped over the fence next is in front of in front of means you are facing that person means in front of you or facing someone i have a pool in front of my house mere samne and the opposite of in front of is behind piche at the back of someone or something the boy is hiding behind the tree okay let's move to the next page the next preposition is beside beside means next to or close to one more preposition means the same which is near okay near also means something which is close to you he is standing beside the shop he is standing near the shop fine between between is used for two people two places or two things the flower is kept between two boxes distribute the sweets up between uh naisha and parth okay like this you have to use between and the opposite is among among is used for many people next preposition is at at is used to show a specific time okay like i i will meet you at 12 pm and it is also used to show a place there were many people at the park okay next is to and from to means that you are going to a certain place he went to college and from means that you are coming from a certain place or getting something from a certain place he came from england i got that toy or that dress from that place okay next is into and on to okay into means something movement from out to in like 
my car crashed into the tree hemant dived into the pool so he is coming from out to in next is on to on to means something which is in a position like on the top of something okay the cat jumped on to the table fine means the cat is at a position on the position on the table fine on to the table next is around around means surrounding something or somebody like the father drove us around the city so you are surrounding the city he put his arms around or you are surrounding that person through now the only difference between through and across is both means to cross from one end to other but through means that you are crossing through the middle of something like the dog went through the tunnel so he is in middle of that tunnel fine in something and across means to cross from one end to other like a road or a river we took a boat across the river fine next since for and by see the difference between since and for since is used to show a starting point in the past and it is going on till now okay like she lives in mumbai since 2006 so since tab se since 2006 she is living in mumbai only and for means that it is explaining you a duration a start period and a end period okay we will visit spain for 2 months so it is giving you a duration like for 2 months start and end you will use for and to explain something from past till now you will use since i am studying since morning i will study for 2 hours this is the difference got it and by is used to show that by what time you will come back home by what medium you are traveling this there that is why that is where you have to use by if you have any doubt once read the chapter revise all the prepositions in case of any doubt you can contact me thank you